Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, uh, the right of free speech is a, is a great right that we have in this country. Very few times we use it to expose our, our theological or religious beliefs, but we do have members of the clergy here as members of the panel. So I want to start with uh, Genesis 8, um, verse 21 and uh, 22. Never again will I curse the ground because of man, even though every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood, and never again will I destroy all living creatures as I have done. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease. I believe that's the infallible word of God, and that's the way it's going to be for his creation. The second verse comes from Matthew 24. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. The earth will end only when God declares it's time to be over. Uh, man will not destroy this earth. This earth will not be destroyed by a flood. Um, and I appreciate having panelists here who are men of faith, and we can get into the theological discourse of, of that position. But I do believe God's word is infallible, unchanging, perfect. God's word is true. I've come to understand that. All that stuff I was taught about evolution and embryology and Big Bang Theory, all that is lies straight from the pit of hell. And it's lies to try to keep me and all the folks who are taught that from understanding that they need a Savior. You see, there are a lot of scientific data that I found out as a scientist that actually show that this is really a young earth. I don't believe that the earth is but about 9,000 years old. I believe it was created in six days as we know them. That's what the Bible says. And what I've come to learn is that it's the manufacturer's handbook is what I call it. It teaches us how to run our lives individually. How to run our families. How to run our churches. But it teaches us how to run all of public policy and everything in society. And that's the reason as your congressman, I hold the Holy Bible as being the major directions to me of how I vote in Washington, D.C. And I'll continue to do that. 